Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kenna and on this channel I am just a girl trying to figure out her life. No, Lux is playing with my sewing needles. That's not good. Hey. Oh, um, yeah, so subscribe if you want to come along with me as I try to figure out my life and fulfill my dreams. Today's video, I am doing a thrift flip, which you knew because you clicked on this video. And this one is a special one because it's my first thrift flip with a sewing machine. And I consider this like my real thrift flip because I actually did something other than cropping this time. But we all gotta start somewhere. No shame in cropping. All levels of thrift flips are welcome here. <laughs> and because this is my first sewing experience, thrift flip, whatever, please go easy on me because I probably made a lot of mistakes. I did make mistakes, you will see them in this video but if i made technical mistakes feel free to comment them nicely down below <laughs> so i know what to improve on all of these clothes i did get from the goodwill outlet which is why i went to the goodwill outlet in the first place was to get clothes to practice sewing on but if you want to see the stuff that i got at the goodwill outlet that i'm not going to sew i have a haul up on my channel so go watch that if you're interested you don't have to there's no obligations here i just want to let you know okay let's get into the first thrift flip which is a sweater turned into like this little two-piece set with a, a top being the sweater but cropped and the bottom being turned into short so it's like that cute little knit sweat suit. I'll show you an example or you'll see it. You'll see it in a little bit but this was fully inspired by a TikTok. I saw someone do this on a TikTok and I was like you know what? I can do this. I can do this. It is so cute and I have sweaters so I can do this. And yeah, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna talk you through it and then you'll see me doing it. So first you wanna start out with like a large sweater, like a men's large sweater. I mean, it could be women's too, but the men's ones are softer and I feel like it's easier to find like a nice oversized sweater. So I found, I actually found three of them at the Goodwill outlet, so I ended up altering all three of them. And then to start, I kind of laid the sweater out flat and I laid a pair of shorts that I like the length of. So I just took a pair of like my Nike athletic shorts and just kind of laid them at the bottom of the sweater and then I also laid a shirt that I like the crop length of on top of that so I kind of could see where I needed to cut and where I needed to crop so I obviously allowed for like seam allowance well not on the shorts technically because I didn't feel like I had enough sweater so I just drew the line like straight where the shorts ended but for seam allowance just go up a little bit more but mine my shorts were already so high waisted so I didn't mind if the shorts that I were creating were a little bit more low waisted if that makes any sense at all but you will see but once I kind of lined up the shorts I just made a mark with one of those washable pencils that are made to mark on clothes not just any old pencil or color pencil and then I drew a line straight across because I was gonna try to be as precise as possible because like I said I have a sewing machine now and I'm leveling up I'm going to take the extra time to be precise so yeah I drew a line with the ruler straight across <laughs> And then obviously I just cut across the line and I actually invested in a fabric scissors too. And if you are gonna be doing this, I would say, you know what? Take a moment, find some fabric scissors and buy them. I will leave the ones I got down below. I'm pretty sure they were inexpensive, but I didn't realize that you could cut through clothes easily. I didn't I didn't know that was a thing. Fabric scissors do that for you. Uh, next, you wanna get rid of the get rid of the top part. You don't need that right now. And take the bottom part of the sweater, which is what we're gonna turn into the shorts. And this is kind of confusing, but I hope Oh, you can see in the video what I do and so you take the sweater that's laying down you grab it by the center you like you like pick it up and then you kind of shift it to the side so that the original side seams are now in the center see these side seams they're now going to be in the center because you kind of picked it up and flipped it and originally I was just going to lay the shorts on there or well like the shorts are folded in half originally I was just going to lay them on there and cut around it but I actually wanted to take the time to be precise as I was saying so I took a pair of shorts laid out a piece of part parchment paper and then traced around the shorts to make a pattern and obviously the shorts are folded in half and then I cut it out and I took that and then laid it on the sweater piece and I pinned it because uh, the parchment paper was not staying obviously because it kind of just rolls up so I just pinned that and then I cut around it and I was kind of going back and forth between deciding if I wanted to lay the pattern out again just on the opposite side and then cut around that or if I wanted to fold it in half and just kind of cut around it and I ended up just feeling like 
folding it in half and then cutting around it would be the better option because it's more even if that makes sense because when i took the pattern and then flipped it to the other side it kind of overlapped a little bit got confusing so i was like you know what I'm just gonna fold it in half and roll with it and then once you cut out around the shorts pattern you are left with this very awkward piece of fabric which i was very confused on what to do with it looked like there was no way this was gonna turn into shorts they did so what you want to do now is you want to turn it inside out and shift it back to like that original position or i mean just keep it in the original position if you didn't do what i did and unfold it <laughs> but you just put it back in that original position but now inside out so you see like the side seams the original side seams are still down the center and you're just left with like this triangle piece of fabric type thing and you just want to sew down the sides like just a stitch down the sides and then you pull it off and you're like what is this what is going on but then you flip it like this and it resembles shorts how crazy is that that is crazy you just you just made shorts except the crotch is open and you want to sew that up I mean, unless you don't want to it's all a personal preference but i did but as you like see i don't know you can't really see in the video but there was like this awkward pouch <laughs> awkward like pouch triangle thing going on and i didn't i didn't know what to do with that instead of looking it up i just took a scissors to it and i cut it flat so then it was kind of like this and then i just sewed across there and as you can see the first one i forgot to turn it back inside out so the stitch is on the front which doesn't look the good look the good which doesn't look the best, but I just ran with it because I was like, you know what? Everybody makes mistakes. And now you have a pair of shorts that look like this. Some nice little knit sweater shorts that literally they just look like shorts and you made them out of the bottom of a sweater. Like how freaking cool is that? That is so cool. Okay, then the next part, um, I wanted to make a waistband. The shorts were actually pretty good at already like fitting my waist and I didn't really need to do it for the like adjusting part, but more just to make it clean and not frayed because obviously this material is gonna fray if you just leave it. So I took a piece of elastic and measured it around my waist and if you've seen the clip I got attacked by my cat while trying to do that so then you turn your shorts back inside out and you fold over the hem how much you want to hem but you have to keep in mind that it has to be able to fit the elastic to go through it so just fold over enough where you have you can sew like a stitch a line whatever but you can still lay the elastic like flat so I kind of used my elastic as a reference to kind of lay it over so like I'd lay it over here and and make sure I had enough room to stitch and stick the elastic through. So then you just want to sew all the way around except you want to leave a little pouch open so you can shove the elastic through and then you take your elastic which you measured you attach a safety pin and then you kind of just feed it through until you get to the end i didn't show it but you just sew the two ends of the elastic kit together and then you shove it back in the hole and you sew up that hole and bam you're done turn it back the right side way and now you are officially done with your pair of shorts that that is all you did it congratulations you made it this far <laughs> did the whole process again with the two other sweaters I made a gray one and i made a blue one and they both turned out though so cute go to a thrift store now i'm gonna go to the men's sweater section because i cannot get enough of these i just i may need these in every color and pattern and once you get the hang of it it goes by really fast so go do this one i promise you you will thank yourself later okay thrift flip number two which is nothing too crazy but i wanted to include it in here because this is my first time i guess altering something so i was altering this vest i found this vest at the goodwill outlet and i was actually looking for a vest when i was going there because i see it's a trend going around and it is so freaking cute like the girls who style it i don't know it's so cute i love the vibes never thought i would like be one to hop on that trend but like i don't know i just find it cute i love the preppy school look 
So I was like, you know what? Let me find me a best. I found one, but it was way too big. And I was like, hey, I have a sewing machine now. I could probably figure out how to alter this. And that is exactly what I did. So I did what I thought that you needed to do. Like I said, this probably would have been easier if I took the time to look things up, but I just felt like a free spirit and was like, you know what? My brain knows what to do without looking it up. So I just ran with it. And I took the sweater vest, I turned it inside out, and then I like pinched the sides and kind of estimated where or how much I had to take in. And then I just pinned it. I probably would have been easier to take like a pencil and draw a line so I didn't have to stab myself trying to take it off, but it is what it is. And then I took it off, laid it flat, and I measured about how far in the pins were. So that way I could take them out and then iron it flat just to make it easier to like sew and pin obviously. So then I ironed it flat and then I took the ruler and then made a mark where I needed to take it in and then drew a line straight down did that to the other side go to your sewing machine and you just sew straight up that line and I really didn't think it was that simple but it is and then you just cut off the excess and you turn it inside out and now it was time for the moment of truth put it on and it was too big and uneven and I was like that is okay because I can fix this so I just I went through the whole process again I turned it back inside out put it back on and then pinched the sides based on how much I needed to take in and I realized that this is a stretchy fabric so I can overestimate a little bit and then this time when and I went to draw the line. I was like, I felt like I needed to go to diagonal because even though I don't have curves, apparently this fabric thinks I do. So I need to allow for that. So I just did a little, a little slant, nothing crazy because there's nothing crazy going on here. And then I just did the exact same thing. So I drew a line, sewed up the line, and then cut off the excess, turned it back the right side way. And then it was time for the moment of truth again. And I put it on and it fits. And it looks so cute. And I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I picked this up, had some hope in this piece, and fixed it because it fits so nicely. I love it. I don't quite know how to style it the best though. So if you have a favorite way of styling a sweater vest, comment them down below. So my next thrift flip is also kind of a trend that I saw and something that I was looking for and that is a pleated skirt so like I said they have been everywhere if you are into fashion you've been seeing them everywhere maybe even if you're not in fashion you've been seeing them everywhere and I wanted one but um I didn't feel like buying one so I found this giant skirt at the Goodwill outlet and it was very long I can't even remember it was like I think it was past yeah it was definitely past my knees and it had natural pleats in it. You could barely tell though because the length was kind of just, it was kind of just drowning in fabric. So you couldn't tell that it pleats that much, but I was like, I see, I see potential. And this is pretty much just cropping, but cropping a shirt. But I wanted to show this to show you, keep your eyes open when you go to thrift stores because there are hidden gems and gems that you can easily fix up. Yeah, so I tried on the skirt and it's really long. And my initial plan of action was just to mark where I wanted to cut it. So I just drew a line and then I took it off and I turned it inside out and laid it down and I went to go draw the line across the whole skirt and then I was like oh crap how am I gonna do this evenly how's that gonna work and then I came up with the better idea of laying a skirt that it had a similar shape so like a circle skirt I guess I think that's what it's called but it just has like a similar shape and then I went to lay it down on there and then kind of traced around that and once again if the skirt that you're tracing is the exact length you want it you want to trace a little bit down for seam allowance but the this one was a little bit longer than I would prefer this pleated one to be. So I was like, you know what? This is perfect because it allows for the seam allowance. So I just drew a line and then cut across it, hoping that it would turn out even. And it did. So it worked out. <laughs> and then I laid it down and then I folded over how much I wanted to hem. Ironed it down, pinned it, and then just sewed all the way around. Bam, I was done. I was left with this cute little short pleated skirt. It's so cute, isn't it? I, I don't know. I absolutely loved it. And it actually turned out better than I thought. Even though it was so simple, I just for some reason thought it was gonna be so hard, but it was not. And I'm very happy with the outcome. So keep your eyes open when you're at the thrift store. You can potentially change the whole look just by cutting off the bottom. And the fourth thrift flip. Here's where things get spicy. I'm not doing the fourth thrift flip in this video because it is me turning a pillowcase into a whole tank top. And that, I'm just gonna make a separate video because it literally took me like 20 minutes to explain it in itself so this video would be way too long 
So this is all I'm showing you for this video. Just stay tuned for that video coming soon and that will be its own video. But yeah, let's cue the outro. <laughs> So those are all the thrift flips for this video. If you enjoyed this, please like it and comment something down below. Comment, comment if you sew, comment a sewing tip. If you don't sew, comment anything. I will have a conversation with you. But I hope you liked and enjoyed the video and let me know if you want me to continue like documenting my sewing adventures and doing thrift flips because I would love that. I love making these kind of videos and showing you my creations and hoping to inspire you to make your own creations whether it's sewing or something else. I once again hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you stick around and come along with me as I try to figure out my life. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!